What's good, YouTube? Your boy Bosco back again with another sneaker video. Hopefully, you're having a great day wherever you are in the universe. By the title, you can tell we're talking about some upcoming Jordans that you might want to add to your collection. They will be dropping within the next few weeks to month. Let me know if you like anything. Of course, give me the feedback in the comments below. Let's go ahead and jump into these sneakers, you dig? First sneaker we're gonna talk about is the Air Jordan 1 University Blue, retailing for 125 bucks, and it will be hitting the stores within the next few weeks. This offering, of course, is a Jordan 1 Mid, has the light blue smooth leather upper with the University Blue pebbled leather overlays and swooshes, mesh tongue and lining atop the slightly speckled white midsole with the rubber outsole that completes the design. I like that blue rubber outsole. I think that adds an extra touch to the shoe. And the blue that they use overall is just fire. Rate this shoe from a one to 10 in the comment section below. I think that colorway is actually pretty fire. I just want to see what it looks like in person. Next, we have another Air Jordan 1 mid for the ladies. This one's also retail for $125. Black Gym Red Cell is the color scheme for this one. Of course, it has the white leather base with the black leather overlays and swooshes. Red angle collar, Jumpman on the tongue and wing logos with the cell midsole and black rubber outsole. I like what they did with this mid. They've been playing with the red, black, and white color scheme. I like the way it looks on this mid. Let me know if you guys are feeling this and if this Jordan 1 mid is something that you guys will add to your collection. Looks like we have a good amount of Jordan 1 mids on the way that look pretty interesting including this Air Jordan 1 mid cement gray also retailing for $125. Cement gray cell and anthracite is the color scheme. This offering of the Air Jordan 1 mid comes constructed with a tumble leather base with the mesh tongues and lining. It features a black base with the gray overlays, white swooshes and a white midsole atop the rubber outsole. I like this color scheme. I wonder if that cement gray is going to look better in person than it does in these pictures. Overall, rate these from a 1 to 10 and that this is something that you would add to your collection. Next, we got a Jordan 1 mid for the New York Knicks fans out there. We got the Air Jordan 1 mid dropping in 2023 or late 2022 for a retail price of 125 bucks. Dressed in game royal, rush orange, phantom, and white as a color scheme. You can't go wrong with that color combination, obviously. Full leather build with the white mesh tongue and lining. You have the cell base with the blue overlays and orange contrasting accents and the branded areas. You cannot go wrong with this. I like the orange midsole on it also if you're a nick fan or not just give me your thoughts on this one and rate it from a one to ten if this is a mid that you would add to your collection and as you can see for the next few weeks we're gonna get a lot of jordan one mids that look pretty interesting including this air jordan one mid as they're calling it the reverse bread let me know what you guys think about this one in the comment section below of course gym red black and white is a color scheme majority black base shoe with the red trimmings i like the red lacing on this I wonder if it comes with some extra laces. Maybe some white laces will make this pop, but I am a fan of this color combination. I just hope the materials stand up. Give me your thoughts and opinions on this colorway in the comments below. Next, we got some heat for the grade school sizing and people who can fit grade school sizing, the Air Jordan 1 Low Halloween retailing for only 95 bucks. This offering of the Air Jordan 1 Low has the cell leather in the rear with the orange detailing on the toe box, swooshes, tongue lining, and rubber outsole. Black patent leather overlays atop the white midsole completes the design of this Jordan 1 Low. Too bad it's just for the grade school, but I'm sure there will be some women out there rocking these. Let me know your overall thoughts on this Halloween colorway for the Air Jordan 1 Low in the comment section below. It looks interesting, but I'm not too much of a fan of it for myself, but it's not for me, it's for the grade school. We got another one that's for the grade school, the Air Jordan 1 Low Lakers. This one's retailing for 100 bucks. Of course, you can see this offering comes with the constructed leather build, mesh tongue, and lining. It features a black and purple upper with the gold swooshes, the contrasting accents with the white midsole and a black outsole. I like this color scheme. I wish it came in men's sizing. Maybe it will a little bit later down the line, but overall, let me know what you guys think about this color way and rate this one from a 1 to 10 in the comment section below. Next up, we got something for all the golfers out there. The Eastside Golf Air Jordan 1 High Golf drops November 12th for a retail price of 200 bucks. Of course, it has the Burnt Sunrise, Midnight Navy, White, and Metallic Gold as the color scheme. Of course, this Golf Edition of the Air Jordan 1 comes constructed with a full leather build, mesh tongues, and lining. The special details include the Mitch Match branded tongue tags, as well as the Metallic Gold lace tips, Eastside Gold insoles with the integrated traction for, of course, you know, golf 
golfing. Special hang tags and packaging for the shoe. I like the color scheme, it's just for golf, so it's not for me. But let me know what you guys think about this and rate this from a one to 10 in the comments below. Next up, we're gonna switch it a little bit and go to a lifestyle sneaker for the ladies. This Jordan Delta 3 is pretty nice. We've talked about it before in a few videos and I've gotten mixed reviews. So if this is your first time seeing this, let me know what you guys think overall about the Jordan Delta 3s. And ladies watching this, is this a colorway that you guys would cop? I've gotten a lot of feedback hearing that this is a comfortable lifestyle shoe, but let me know your overall thoughts on the aesthetics of the shoe, of course, in the comments below. Next up on our list is the Air Jordan 1 High Golf Midnight Navy. This one's also retailing for about 200 bucks and it should be hitting the stores within the next few weeks. White metallic silver and Midnight Navy is this color scheme. Uh, this golf edition of the Air Jordan 1 features a leather base with the silver swooshes and navy patent leather overlays, Jumpman golf branding, on the tongues and insoles atop the white midsole. Of course, the navy also is something that is really dope. I like the patent leather for a golf shoe. Let me know if this is something that you will step out on the course with. Of course, just let me know your thoughts, as I always say in the comment section below. It's a pretty unique Jordan 1, you dig? Next on our list is some official images of the Jordan 1 High 85, black and white, dropping next year, 2023, for a retail price of 200 bucks. Dressed in a panda-like, Black Summit white color scheme. You cannot go wrong with this. Of course, this Jordan 1 stays true to the OG features with the white leather base, with the black overlays, Nike Air branding on the tongues and tags and insoles, with the nylon tongue atop the white midsole, and black rubber outsole completing the design of the shoe. I like the black and white look. I think this one will go out. It probably will not sit in stores, but you never know. Give me your thoughts on this Jordan 1 high and if this is a Jordan 1 that you will be adding to your collection. Finally, I wanted to talk about a shoe that was pretty interesting and I wanted to get your opinion. Retailing for 200 bucks and dropping in November is the Jordan 12, celebrating 25 years of Jordan in China. Let me know if you got a feeling these or not. The color combination just kind of throws me off a little bit. The China friendly white and black taxi with the varsity red color scheme is just different. Of course, it has the white leather base with the black mud guard, red tongue atop the yellow taxi outsole, with the red traction pod celebrating 25 years of Jordan in China, as I said, is replacing Jordan on the right uh, tab, uh, you know, of the heel of the shoe. I'm just confused on if I like this or not. Please give me your thoughts and opinions on this shoe in the comments below. It's a very interesting shoe to say the least. I love the taxi vibe or the black and white playoff vibe. That taxi yellow kind of throws me off and then I, you know, I don't even know where the red comes from. But that's just my opinion. I would love to know what you guys think in the comments below. And of all the shoes that we saw in this video, of course, which one do you guys feel like are the best ones to look forward to? Which one should they stop making if that's the way you feel about something? I need all the feedback and interaction, of course, in the comment section below. That's what lets me know what to talk about more and what to talk about less, of course, you know, your feedback really does it all. But I like some of the shoes here. Some of them are very interesting and some of them I can definitely do without. If I had to pick some shoes out of this bunch that I thought kind of stood out to me, I'm interested to see what the reverse bread mid looks like and if the quality at all is pretty decent. The Nick one also looks interesting as well as that UNC colorway, but that's just me. Give me your thoughts like I said in the comments below. It's your boy Bosco. I'm about to get out of here. Have a great day wherever you are in the universe. Deuces.